Are you John Lennon? That's what I'd like to know. All right, bitch, I'm gonna insult your face. Pine clocks! Your whole attitude's a trash fire. Oh! I love him! Oh, Andy kickflip. There's combat? Ladies, ladies, gentlemen, it's noisy face. That's me. The month of February is all about love and finding that special someone. Now, previously on the Noisy Face channel, we have struggled as French fires and the many changing moods of Cole Polden and our life beginnings and always, and pined for our food mascot daddy and I love you, Colonel Sanders. And here today, we're going to play a game that I've been counting down the minutes to when I get to play it, courtesy of Xbox Game Pass. We're going to be playing Thirsty Suitors. Now, you all know me. You know I love a good Annapurna game. Oh my god, look at this art already. This is fucking amazing. Yes, we will be playing as Uncle Pookie. Because number one, Uncle Pookie secretly loves Thirsty Suitors and doesn't know it. And number two, the access to Game Pass, which I do not. Let's jump in. There's combat? Oh, skating. Dart. Okay, that's loud. Hold on, sorry. I don't know if a dating quiz is the best distraction from the disaster you've made of your life. But, wow, coming in hot. Okay. But hey, what do I know? You're the one in charge here, Jala. You better answer honestly, though. You can't keep any secrets from me. Okay, move. God, this is cool already. Oh, I'm skating. Ah! Slide. Oh, Andy kick flip. Okay. Ah. Your date shows up in a terrible outfit. People are staring. What's your reaction? Me? I, I mean, they probably have a reason, so, like, I don't give a shit. What exactly is a terrible outfit anyway? Some of my favorite outfits are objectively terrible. That's true. <laughs> Who cares why? I'm good. Fuck you, bitch. Can I? Just hit buttons. It's fine. Uh, what is your worst quality as a romantic partner? I'm pretty damn needy, okay? I just like detailed feedback. I mean, how else would I know what I need to work on? Standardized testing really did a number on you. Wee! Okay, that's jump. Oh, shit! Fuck, 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 fuck! fuck. <laughs> Alright, your partner says I love you way too soon. What do you do when you're under pressure? I mean, I do perform well under pressure. I'd probably be like, hey, whoa now. Let's let's talk about your feelings there, buddy. You just put a smile on your face and say it back, right? That's not what I do, but that's the option not I chose. Don't mean it, but maybe I do. I mean, how do you know how you feel really? Sometimes you just have to decide, right? Make a plan. Hmm. Carry it through. Fake it till you make it. This is why your romantic life is a trash fire. I mean, like, you would know. Your whole attitude's a trash fire. What do I do? Oh, shit! Fuck! It's fine. I'll get it. You carefully plan... ...date you... ...that you plan! Oh, it goes completely wrong. What do you do? I mean, I go with the flow, man. Shit happens. Your plan can't go wrong if you didn't make one in the first place. Speaking of plans. Ooh. Mysterious pop up. Holy hell! Are you ever planning to call me back, Jala? No. I haven't heard your voice in six months. Damn. 
Your sister's such a bore. <laughs> Good thing you have me instead. You're the same person. Oh, it's like different personas. Okay, I'm in it. You're really not. You imagined me with her face, but I'm the voice inside your head. Huh, the voice of reason. I know things about you she could never begin to understand. We're way closer than sisters, Jala. Okay. What do I do in my life? Oh, not that! <laughs> <laughs> I almost falls at it. Just keep jumping. Just keep jumping. What are you most thirsty for? Safety. I like, I, you know, I like feeling secure in the relationships that I have. I don't want to get hurt. You sound like a scared little girl. You know what? Get out of my head, Ma. Pain is part of life, Jana. You can't hide from it. It's totally my dad. I'm not hiding from anything. That's why I'm coming back. I'm done running away. Oh, did I leave town? Leave my house? Ouch. Still think it's a good idea to go home? They all hate you, Jala. Can you blame them? Hate's a strong word. Shut up. Ugh, fine. Guess I'll leave you to skate away your feelings. You do that. Woo! Have you ever been in love? Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. That's none of your business. <laughs> oh. Just answer the question, Jala. Is that who I was in love with? Tyler? Don't I deserve an answer? Isn't that why you're on a bus back home? Because you owe me an answer? Hmm. Yeah. You're right. Very interesting. Did you love me, Jala? I did. <laughs> Thought it would help to hear you say that. But it just makes everything worse. I loved you, Jala. But you already knew that. You broke my heart. Ooh. Drama. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Reels now, okay? Whee! Oh. Before oh, the he's gonna get the me! Should be... Illuminating. One, two, three, four, five, six. Blah, Is the blah, cat blah. my ex? Arrogant. Arrogant. Cruel. Cruel. Cheetah. Harmless. Oh. Congratulations. Your Thursona is the star. You never see it coming, but there's just something about you people find irresistible. You crave status and approval. But have you ever asked yourself why you need to be liked so much? Your stone points are granted based on your choices. You never see it coming. Okay, so that's what I just said. Uh, what's the heartbreaker? You can't help it when people keep falling for you. It's not like you're even nice to them. You're so busy protecting yourself, you push other people away. I do not do that. Uh, every new face sets your heart ablaze. And why not? There's nothing wrong with a little experimentation. You spend your life defying expectations. It is because you're a rebel or because you don't think you can live up to them. Okay, so I think, I think we got the best one for me. A, to run. Ooh, bagels. I gotta run out the camera? Okay, no, it's gonna turn. Timber Hills, our hometown. I still don't get why we're back here. You're like a serial killer driven to return <laughs> to the scene of the crime. Nobody died. I left things messy, but I didn't actually murder anyone. Just your parents, hopes and dreams. <laughs> God damn. Game. Jesus Christ. I know. Come to think of it, you kind of died here. 
The person you were supposed to be did, anyway. Coming back <sighs> here was a mistake. Uh, no. I don't know. There's no in between, so I'm gonna go with no. Leaving was the mistake. You're being selfish, as usual. I don't know why I even bother trying to help you. You're hopeless. Find a ride home. I will. I will find a ride home. Enter. Pine clocks. X XR buttons. Hello. Hi. Is that? I'm not gonna give them names unless they're a reoccurring character, okay? Because I only, only, do, only do so many names. She ran off with the mayor's daughter, right? Oh, damn. Yeah, twice her age. I don't want to do either of these things. There's no option to just walk away. I guess I'm gonna be petty today. The full... The full range of noisy faces mind. There's no option to walk away. I'm gonna be petty. Oh, this is me. Okay, Juan. Hey. What a trendy haircut. Really brave. Uh, thanks. And Mindy, how's the poetry going? Remember when you became the editor of the yearbook just to get it published? Uh, are you accusing me of something? Just make an observation. Anyway, gotta run. Bye! What's up? Want some of my drink? Is it sugarless? I think it's light. Like, L-I-T-E? I don't drink that artificial sweetener shit. Well, you look great. Your body's a temple, right? Is that your way of asking me on a second date? I love this photo in the back. It's so cute. Is that your way of saying yes? What's up, bros? Oh, hey, Jayla. Been a while. You here for a visit? Uh, it's none of your goddamn business. No, no, not sure yet. Probably just passing through. You know how it is. Uh-huh. Your parents must be pleased. Yeah, they're super happy. Liar. Your parents don't even know you're in town. Why exactly didn't you call them before you got on the bus home? She should probably have a voice. Maybe, maybe she'll be this. I think that's a good voice for her. Hello, I wanna chat to you. Crunch, crunch. All right. Can I, oh, I can chat to you too. And she also predicted Kenny cheating. Total accuracy. I predicted that months ago. Yeah, but she said she couldn't sense my psychic. She could sense my psychic intuition over the phone. It only works through the telephone wires if you have strong psychic force. If you're paying 99 cents a minute, I have a gift, bro. I'm speaking to her again tonight. Can I pet Doggo? Can I pet the Doggo? Yes! I don't Bobby! I don't bet your Bobby! Oh my god, don't do that! Oh! Shit, son! Oh, hold on. I forgot! What is happening? Whoa! There's many games! Fuck! I was not ready, okay? Hold on. Uh, B. <laughs> wow. I was, I was not ready for that. Hello. Aren't you going to be late for the concert? Dude, it's not a concert. It's a protest. You bought tickets to see a protest band? Nah, the band's not going to show. Like, at all. They're protesting the venue, dude. Or, I don't know, commercialism, maybe? Well, I'd get a refund if I were you. And then I want to not sit. I want to talk to these people. Give me food. Whoa, Jayla, you're back in town. What's it been, three years? 
Hey! You? She was a couple of grades above you at school. You don't remember her name? To be fair, <laughs> you had a lot going on. You look, uh, great. It's, again, it's none of your fucking business, but let's get dramatic. I know, I look like shit. Split up with my girlfriend today. Yesterday? Oh, oh, that's rough, buddy. Back home from Silver TLC, huh? I'll send over a banana milkshake. That'll set you up. One banana milk. How do I inventory? Oh. Items. Banana milkshake. A refreshing milkshake from Home Skillet. This is one part of Timber Hills that never let you down. Restores 8p. 80 HP. Well, I do not need to use that, so... I guess I can see it. I guess I can see... Can I go to the restroom? No. Okay, well... Sit down! We can't hang out at the diner all night. You need to call someone to give you a ride home. Who's it gonna be? This is probably gonna be the least awkward, so this one. Aruni's probably still up. That's gonna go well. You haven't called her in months. Why would you? You have me to talk to instead. I'm clearly the superior version. <laughs> but crucially, you can't drive a car. Wow. Way to rub it in. You think I like only existing in your head? Oh, okay, so it doesn't let me pick that. All right. Next logical option in my head would be the parents, but it's probably going to force me to pick ex-best friend, but let's I go with parents. I call home and hope that dad picks up instead of mom. It's after 10 p.m. What if you give dad a heart attack? <laughs> oh. Mom's had him on a low-cholesterol diet since we were kids. You really want to test that. You know he sneaks cashew nuts from the cupboard when she's not looking. See? Candy, hey. <sighs> Maybe I should just call Tyler and get it over with. I mean, yes, Tyler's your ex-bestie. But she's also your ex. The ex. And given the way you ended things... Which was not good, I'm, I'm assuming? Probably hates my guts. Probably. Okay, she definitely hates me. Sorry, sis. The truth hurts, but it'll set you free. Uh, Jala, remember when I said coming back here was a mistake? Is it a good time to say I told you so? What? Already? I hope you're ready for some long-delayed emotional catharsis. Because your third-grade boyfriend just walked in the door. Oh, good! Sergio? Is he, like, super hot now? And some junk? Is that where this is going? <laughs> okay, I'm already highly entertained. There's you, thirst level high. Jala's third grade boyfriend, overconfident, insecure, macho, needy, and far, far too thirsty. You look Combat time. Me, or are you just admiring the view? Um, make a joke. You look ready for a Bollywood close-up, and <laughs> I feel like an extra in a bad horror movie. Why is the speaker just floating there? Way to make a girl feel inadequate. What? No, no, you look gorgeous, as always. Oh, I do? One of these days, we really have to talk about your susceptibility to cheap flattery. So, it's been a while. Since I was in third grade. <laughs> Three years, two months, and 14 days. Oh my god, that's so fucking creepy. Stop, bro. <clears throat> um, <laughs> did I just say that out loud? I take everything back. This is the most fun I've had in months. Sergio's had it bad for Jala since Mrs. Garcia made them project partners in third grade. His crush survived the geography club after school incident, puberty, and Jala's extremely public on again, off again romance with Tyler all through high school. Ooh. His thirst is kind of pathetic, but you can't deny he has stamina. <clears throat> anyway, 
How's Jennifer? I don't even know who the fuck that is, so no Probably idea. in Seattle with her new girlfriend. Or in hell with any luck. <laughs> oh my god. You're single. <laughs> uh, seriously. I didn't say I was single. You assumed I was single. Would you believe I am too? <laughs> no, really? Okay, attack. Oh, is it turn base? Oh my god, and he's like sambaing. Stop. Attack. An attack that lowers HP and builds your will. Hey, can I do it? Oh, come, come on, at Sergio. bitch. Let's dance. Did I mention I spent a year abroad? I learned a lot of new moves in the bar. Okay, well, did you learn how to shave? Cut your own hair? Because it looks like you followed a tutorial during COVID. Oh! I hope you're ready, because I have a few new moves of my own. What do I have to lose? True. That's a good question. Oh, wait. Just remember, Jala. There are no winners in a psychodrama battle with your third grade boyfriend. Only losers. Just kidding. You could both win the prize of friendship and emotional maturity. Oh. How does that sound? Yeah. It's actually kind of nice. Oh, look. You're growing as a person already. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Press A at the right time to enhance your attacks or defense. Okay. Got it. I pressed it all fast. Now, okay, it's my uncle. This is so cool. I freaking love this game. There are options in the gameplay to do this to make it easier. Next time, you'll have to do it on your own. Okay, well, let's see how it goes. I always get what I want. Just ask my mom. Oh, that's I don't like that. Um. So that's my only option right now because I haven't unlocked anything. So I guess I will ah! attack him. I still think about our first kiss. You remember? On the trip to the Seattle Aquarium in third grade. It was so magical. Was it? Our lips touching, bathed in the blue green light of the tank, surrounded by moon jellies. Um, all kisses are magical. One kiss more magical than another? They're all special in their own way. How many people were you kissing in third grade? 50 million! As many as I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm, I'm not mad. It would be weird if I'm mad about that. Okay, I'm not gonna flirt with you. Oh, I don't wanna do either. This you one, I guess. First kiss. Nope. That was Bobby Singh in kindergarten. She was Jala's romantic peak. She <laughs> works for Doctors Without Borders now. But you certainly left a lasting impression. Trust me. <laughs> I can last as long as you need me to. <laughs> Third grade was pretty traumatic for me, you know? My parents got divorced, my dad left town. Aww. And never really looked back. His mom spoiled him rotten to make up for I him, guess. Which didn't work, obviously. You're the only good thing I can remember from that time. We shared something special, Jala. And deep down, I know you feel the same way, too. And I'm not gonna let you ruin it. Um. Oh, fuck. Ha! I'm blocking your my shit. Dad's favorite son. Oh, oh! My heart! That's so sad! Aren't you an only child? My mom uh, says <laughs> she sees girls look at me everywhere I go. But you're the only one I have eyes for. Um, I don't want to flirt with and you, maybe so this. You need to get your eyes checked. Hey, Jala, have you noticed Sergio's really thirsty for you? I uh, yes. You should try using that to your advantage. Oh. Indeed. Try using a thirst chant on <laughs> Sergio. Oh yeah, chanting. Okay. Oh! <laughs> are we flirting or are we fighting? Why not both? Okay. 
<laughs> it's all blush. Oh my god, what a gem I of a game. I'm not losing to a guy wearing formal shoes to a diner. They're Italian leather. I bought them on my year abroad. He's being a little heart. Indeed. Now you put Sergio in a thirsty mood. Follow up with a thirst skill for extra damage. Use your willpower, which is like your mana, I guess, okay? To heal yourself or summon a friend. Well, I don't need to heal right now. Suitor slam. Use your wiles to deliver a powerful blow. Do even more damage against opponents who are thirsty. Okay. Oh, yeah, bitch! Sit the fuck down. Don't fool me. I see the scared little boy hiding behind all that swagger. I used a lot of shit. Oh! Your dad's been giving me mustache grooming tips. Is it paying off? Why are you talking to my dad? All right, bitch, I'm gonna insult your face. It's every girl's dream to date a man who takes grooming tips from her father. <laughs> right? I thought oh. you'd like it. <laughs> ah, he's so fucking clueless. All right, um, skill. Heal yourself or summon a friend. Okay, I don't need to do that. But he is thirsty, so I shall taunt. I shall taunt you ineffective. Sergio won't fall for this taunt. Okay. So this says it's effective, so I guess we'll do this. dudes think they deserve the world i mean he does showboat a bitch i will say because we run it oh oh yeah oh. <laughs> you take your own damage more oh i didn't read it fast enough he said he last shot at she's himself. the most awesome woman i know can you blame me for being into that? Uh, I mean, no. I'm just gonna go for a basic attack here. Your mom clearly didn't teach you proper manners. Hey, leave my mom out of this. I would, but you keep bringing her up. <laughs> I don't want it. Whatever it is, I don't want it. Come on, Jala. Isn't it time to take me seriously? I think you take yourself seriously enough for the both of us, okay? Um, can I do this? Nope. You can't deny we look good together, Jala. Uh, I mean... You and me? We could run this whole town. Or at the very least, my dad's used car empire. Um, you don't know me. That's your dream. Oh, not mine. why would I want to run this shitty town? <laughs> oh, damn, get bodied, son. I ran away from it the moment I could. Because you didn't have me at your side. Um, no. This you one. Think you can give me what I want. Your dreams were handed to you on a silver platter. I'm not interested in hand-me-downs. Oh, 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 shit! Like you don't want your parents' approval? Why else did you come back here then? I hate to admit it, but he has a point. I have things to make up for. Unfinished business. And that doesn't include holding your hand through whatever crisis you're going through. See? Exactly what I need in my life, Jala. Oh Someone my god. To tell me the truth. Even when I don't want to hear it, I can't let you go again. I've been waiting a long time. Oh no, it's been a shirt. Oh Jesus, this is great. Oh, he's got the weights. Oh. Okay. Oh costume change. Inner world. I love you, Jala. 
I have loved you since our hands met reaching for the same tub of lime green Play-Doh in third grade. No, you don't even know that you, you love, love me, me, bro. This is the longest conversation we've had in over a decade. He's got his cars and his, like, pictures of him everywhere. Yeah? And whose fault is that? Oh! Uh, yours, because you're so catastrophically weird when we do talk. Fair. This thing between us, it's real, Jala. And I'm gonna prove it to you. Okay. Oh, damn! Some boy lifts a fucking car! Um... Not effective. I mean, I just- I don't just want to keep doing that, but I guess I will. Oh, fuck, I missed it. I totally missed it. What the hell? I can't make a dent! This is Sergio's inner world. In here, he's the person who oh. desperately wishes he could be out there. Okay. Cool, smooth, invulnerable to attack. Th that's not fair! Impeccably waxed. Oh, I should probably move this so y'all can see what I'm doing. Maybe here? We'll try it there. Focus. If you want to get anywhere, you have to shatter that invulnerability by summoning a terrifying psychological specter. Or there. Well, South Asian men, all it takes to destroy Sergio's ego is a single word from his mom. But since we can't bring her into this, we have to summon the next best thing, our mom. Indeed. <laughs> Use a mom summon skill to break through Sergio's invulnerability. Okay. Um, skill. Summon mom. Oops. I hit the wrong button again. Oh, not the chapel. No! <laughs> I can't believe you brought your mom into this. You started it. I guess it's a good sign. You want me to meet your parents? <laughs> Oh, I hit it the wrong way. God uh, damn it. I'm starting to feel a little woozy. I'm kind of busy right now. Hey, genius, if you go down, I go down too. So you better do something about it. Indeed. Come on, child. Are you okay? You haven't even tried your heal items. Indeed. Do a... This would be a good time to use the item to regain some HP. I got a banana milkshake. Items. Bananarama. All the toxic masculinity Sergio's got going on, I kind of suspect he'd be really easy to put into a rage. Try it. Indeed. Okay. Try a rage shot on Sergio. On. Rage. B. Didn't you have a shrine with it. me in your locker in middle school? The janitor made you throw it out at the end of the semester. It wasn't a shrine. It was a tasteful <laughs> collection of basketball memorabilia. Indeed. Bebe, your willpower is real, real low. How about trying some basic attack to gain some WP? Okay. Cool. I will. Oh. Wet. Do in you your like face. the fact that I stick around even when you insult me? No, I don't. I guess. Yeah. It's kind of a power ah. trip. An ego boost when I need one. <laughs> so you admit it. Oh no. You feel good about yourself. I was thinking what was honest in my head, and that was not the answer I wanted to give. But here we are. You are both terrible people. <laughs> Got it. All I wanted was your respect, but you don't respect anyone or anything, do you? Indeed. That worked. Now follow up with a rage skill. Rage. Woo! Oh fuck, I hit it too soon. <laughs> oh, 
this is so cute. It's time for you to leave grade school behind, Sergio. Oh, missed me, bitch. Now his rage went away. From my mom's side of the family. My cousin actually died of apoplectic rage. Dude, okay. You gotta get into yoga or something. I'm gonna do a basic attack. Ah! So your parents screwed you up as a kid. Big whoop. You're an adult now. Time to take responsibility for your behavior. Wow. You are such a hypocrite. Don't distract me. I'm winning. I am winning. Fuck. Um. Yeah, I think I need. I just have to keep doing this because my willpower is low. So I gotta. Now I, I can use a skill. School. Not much has changed. At least you feel something. I can work with that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Slam dunk. Oh, he's almost dead. Did I get him? Makeup. You've sorted out your differences. Now you can be friends or something more. I don't want to date this dude, but I will be his friend. Oh, oh that's so cute. I'm sorry I came on so strong, Doc. I've had this fantasy of you in my head for so long. It's time I got to know the real you. I'm ready to move on if you are. I'm glad we figured that out. Because I kind of need a favor. Oh, he's going to give me a ride. Cool. Achievement. Nylon Empire. Nice. Oh, is that the track? That's cool. Okay. I got a mango bar. Dude, this game is fucking awesome, okay? I've said that like 50 million times, but it's so fun. The Heartbreaker. I got one point. Oh, I can assign bonus points. Oh, let me pay attention to what this does. So, HP plus three. And then attack goes down. No, attack goes up. HP plus four. Plus ten. I think I want to go here. That's pretty balanced. Completed. Find a ride home. Sergio's flex. Mango bar. Where's the emergency? You told me one of the neighborhood cats got run over. Oh, it's all my exes. Yeah, how about that? I lied. Uh, so I take it you didn't get me an interview with one of the skate punks? No, better. Sergio has some big news. Jal is back! She's in Timberhills. And she's not with Jennifer anymore. Hmm, who could have seen that coming? So what? So, we're all Jala's exes. I thought everyone would want to know. It's a Scott Pilgrim situation, is it? Jelly Beans is back? That is big news. Oh, Jelly Beans! So, did you confess your love? Or did you throw up before you got the words out? Uh, I did. Confess, I mean. Not throw up. <laughs> Sorry, Tyler. I know you two have your whole big doomed romance. Thing. Had. There's a crater where we used to be. It's extinct. I'm over her. Oh. Whatever, Tyler. I'm gonna make her fall for me and then crush her. Oh, you're so nice. That doesn't sound very emotionally healthy. Oh, what isn't healthy about long overdue revenge for being humiliated in middle school by your first crush? Why is this all like when I was a baby? <laughs> Ooh, fiery and gorgeous. How have we never met before? I'd remember you. Down, boy. She doesn't play for your team. <laughs> Ahem. I was thinking we could all get closure. Maybe even be friends. 
Oh, wait, you're joking, right? The rest of you can do whatever the hell you like, but trust me on this. The last thing I want is to be Jala Jairatna's friend. Chapter one. This is your mess, Jala. Jala's back in Timber Hills and reconciled with the third grade boyfriend, Sergio. His shiny new biceps definitely helped. Next up on the reconciliation tour, her family. Talk to mom and dad. Woo! Indeed. Sergio gave you a Sergio's Flex phone charm. It can help you do critical hits with your thirsty skills, but you have to equip it. Open the gear menu and put it on your phone. Eventually you will get more slots for charms. But right now you can only use one at a time. Okay, how do I do that? Items. Oh, it's in gear. Gear. Um, boop, boop, boop. I put it on. Oh, that's so cute! Oh my god, I love it. Increase the chance of critical hits when using thirsty skills. Okay. So I gotta go talk to mom and dad. First, I wanna run around this thing here. Inspect. Mom adores this coffee machine. It's one of the first things dad bought her when we moved into the house. Wash my hands from all of the fighting. I love it, it's so cute. Okay, I can look in the fridge. I should check again later tonight. Inspect. A mom would put me to bed at night with manga facts as a kid. I loved all the different pictures. I can't believe they made 10 volumes. We have a whole set somewhere. A Rashiki Fire Devil made from Sri Lanka to ward off evil. Aruni tried to use it to get rid of you when you were a baby. It didn't work. Now who's the evil one? Okay. Better go talk to mom and dad now, I guess. Hold on. What's I do over here? Oh, can I come over here? Can't. I'm inspectifying. Such a nostalgic sound. Do you remember when dad would play tabalas during the family dinner parties? He would sing and play for hours. It gets so late into the night, we could still hear him. What else can I mess with? Anthabama's Buddha statue that dad inherited from Sri Lanka. I forgot how heavy it is. I'm sure he'll want to pass it to one of us someday. Right, I think I'm done best going. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Inspect. Was it sixth grade when I fell off my scooter, landed on my face, and then there was blood everywhere? Fifth, the whole neighborhood heard you crying. You ran to my rescue, cleaned me up, and took care of me until Dad got home. I have my moments. Mom and Dad treated us to ice cream at Ye Yeah Yeah's that day. Talk to my parents. Jala. You're awake. Um, this one. I'm not used to sleeping somewhere new. This is your home, Jala, not some hotel. Maybe it wouldn't feel so new if you had visited in the last three years. I made breakfast, but don't expect to be waited on hand and foot while you're staying here. Since I only moved out, I'm out of the habit of cleaning up after messy children. Uh, why did she move out? Did you guys get into a fight or something? No, Jala. I'm not so terrible a mother that both my children feel the need to flee into the night. <laughs> it wasn't about you. Liar. Well, it wasn't just about you. Oh, yes. Your dad and me staying up worried sick night after night, wondering whether you were okay. Wondering what we had done wrong. Abort mission, Jala. Abort. <clears throat> abort. What we did to deserve being cut out of your life? Of course. None of that was about us. 
Uh, still. Did she leave town like I did? Nobody has quite left Timber Hills like you did. <laughs> That's not what I asked you! She has her own place in town. It's not far. She comes for dinner a few times a week. Though that might change now that you're back home. Are you and Dad doing okay on your own? Empty Dad's and just all like, that. I'm not getting into it, man. Aruni is not the one who's been giving us sleepless nights. Better question is, are you okay? I take it that girl finally got tired of you. Wow. I thought you'd be jumping for joy. I would have been three years ago, two and a half years ago, two years ago, even last year. I had to stop hoping you would come home. So it's hard to be happy all of a sudden. Hmm. Maybe you should talk to your sister instead of interrogating me. She's not answering my texts. I wonder why. You better make it right with her, Jala. She's getting married at the end of the month. I mean... This one. I think my mom will like that better. That's why she left me so many voicemails. Ah, the light finally dawns. This is your mess, Jala. You clean it up. Morning, Jala Banana. Aw, oh, morning, Daddy. It's good to see you, Apache. You too, sweetie. You know, you're my favorite younger daughter. <laughs> I'm the only younger daughter, but thanks, Dad. You're home. Back where you belong. That's all that matters. I made a mistake when I left. I need to put it right. Well, at least you can admit it was a mistake. That's something. It's not going to be the same as it was, Jala. But that's okay too, you know? I need to talk to Aruni. Do I even know who she's marrying? Do you even know if you're invited to the wedding? Amma! It's Aruni's choice, Jala. Not ours. Hmm. Don't look so defeated, Jala. This is a small town full of gossiping aunties. <laughs> How hard could it be to track your sister down if you put your mind to it? All right. Find my sister. Okay. Here I go. So I guess we just skate around Arnie's favorite spots downtown till we find her. Do you even want to find her? It's not going to be a fun conversation. I need to yell at her. I've already had excruciating conversations with my parents, several diner patrons, and my third grade boyfriend. It's not going to be fun. It's going to be hard. But I'm not afraid of hard work. Unlike you. I'm just oh, saying. Oops. Sorry. Maybe you should give her the space she so clearly wants. Ah, oh, what's the point in arguing? Let's earnestly bulldoze our way ahead as usual. And away I go. Where can I go? Can't call any of those people. I can go here. So I guess that is where I will go. Go talk to this person or whatever this is. Enter diner. I'm so bad at skating, y'all. Well, well, well. These are the folks who were talking shit about us the other day. Well, who gives a fuck? They had a bad day. Nice to see y'all again. It's been a while since I've been surrounded by familiar faces. I'm sorry, but I have no idea who you are. But that's yesterday. I think these folks are a lost cause. Do you think they serve steak fritties here? Your mom was my teacher in elementary school. I still talk to her. <laughs> I still talk about her to my therapist. You and me both. I just do, I do want to apologize if I mispronounce anything. I'm not quite familiar with the cultural references here, so if I say anything wrong, I apologize for that. You know that I'm not licensed and also don't exist outside of your imagination, right? Hello. Gulp. Smack. All right. Hi. 
It should be one word. All the best band names are one word. Nirvana, Pixies, Radiohead. That's two words. What is? Radiohead? Are you serious right now? It's Radiohead. One word. No, I'm pretty sure it's Radiohead. You just say it too fast. Dude, you're totally wrong, I think. Wow, <laughs> these guys are like Abbott and Costello. If they were really into weed and sad music. I'm gonna go pet this dog again, y'all. I'm fully prepared now. I da pet a puppy. I da pet a pet a puppy. Wah! Wah! We have our secret handshake with the dog. Dago Bobby. Even a Rooney is not dumb enough to be avoiding you at her favorite spot. Oh, or maybe she assumed you wouldn't look for her here, making it perfect hiding place. Guess we better take a look around just to be sure I am. How was that concert protesting concerts last night? I don't want to talk about it. Was I right? Was it a total flop? How much did you pay? If it was more than $20, dude, come on, drop it. Okay. Um, and then I will talk to you. Hi, Jella. You want your regular? My regular. Fried eggs, extra crispy bacon, and hash browns covered in bacon fat. I suggested pancakes, but you said, and I quote, Pancakes are for people who can't commit to the soul-strengthening grease of a classic egg meat potato dinner breakfast. I hear blood must mean the consistency of tar by now. Uh, I don't remember that. I try to eat better these days. Ugh, adult boring bodies. I relate so much. God, high school was the best. Milkshake then? Thank you. Banana, nana, nana. Oh, I can't go this way. There's a plant. I don't think my sister's here, y'all. I didn't see her, so. Leave. Okay. Whoa! That's not where I wanted to go. Oh, there's coins! I can collect them all the coins. Well. Okay. A little Halloween decorations. A key charm on a keychain is a really cute idea. Unless you're being... Hold on, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Unless you're being chased and have to find and fit the correct key into a lock with trembling hands. You're a real fatalist, you know that? All I'm saying is that most murderers walk very quickly. This seems like a really suggestive sh shaped dog toy. That's probably because it's not a dog toy. Oh. You really think a Rooney's looking, lurking at loops? Unlikely, if you ask me. Or no, you're just driving caffeine again, aren't you? Jala, you know how hyper we get. Okay, well, before I chat to you, I want to look at, uh, things here. Okay. Oh. Okay. Hold on. I want to try that again. Oh! One more time. One more time. Oh! Okay. Hello. We ran out of sage, so the manager's just been picking up leaves outside. Oh, it's a uh, like a goes. flip cup. I feel bad. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, I got 175 slimy jar confetti pops triple whisker scooters. Well. 
Give me one of these. I don't know what it does, but okay. So will it tell me if I go into my thing here what it does? Lowers an opponent's attack. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. I'm going to leave, I think. There's not much else I can do, right? He'll say the same thing. My manager keeps telling me to keep teens out of the weird dog toy section. But why should I? I'm not their dad. <laughs> okay. I'm done. Whoop. Oh, what's that? A mysterious box. We must open it. Okay. Here goes. Oh my god, stop. Okay, it's fine. Gift or grift. I don't know who that is. Why are your shoes on your hands? What are you doing? Patisse suitor. Indian matrimonial ads come to life. Sent to you with love from Pati. Hey. Are you Jala? I I am. Jala are you John Lennon? That's what I'd like to know. I've been looking for you all over town. Sorry, dude. Did we go to school together or something? Your party thought we'd be a good match. Is that like my aunt or my matchmaker? I don't know. Someone tell me. Oh, my grandma! My grandma certainly has interesting taste in men. You really didn't know I was coming? No, I really didn't. Oh, well. Hope you like surprises, Jala. Cause I'm here, and I'm ready to settle down with a girl like you. Indeed. Jala, it sounds like it would be easy for you to shock this guy. Try using a shocking taunt and follow it up with a shocking skill. Taunt. T shock. Uh, scale. This one. Ankle breaker! Block you, shit, and then I'll just regularly attack in here, because he's almost down. Your determination just makes you more attractive to me. That's nice. Shame, I think you're pathetic. <laughs> Scram. Yay! Cool. I'm level three now. Heartless, heartless taunt through the heart. You know who could help us find Aruni, the Gossip Queen of Timber Hills, our Auntie Chandra. She doesn't usually pay favorites, but it's worth a shot. She'll be at the body shop, flirting with any passer, any passing librarians or single moms with car, car trouble. Okay. What's this? I don't want to go in there yet. I want to jump. I want this thing. I'll go in the body shop. Hello. Oh, Jala. It's so oh, she's good so to pretty. See you. I really missed you too, Auntie. That was the perfect opportunity for me to guilt trip you. But I'll heroically refrain. <laughs> you are utterly terrifying, Auntie Chandra. And don't you forget it. So, weird thing just happened. Your grandmother sent an army of potential suitors to Timber Hills to ambush you? Is this a family conspiracy? <laughs> Have you guys all gone completely wedding bananas? Am I going to be dodging marriage proposals every time I walk down the street? Hmm. Do you want the honest answer or a comforting one? Uh, honesty is the best policy. Hit me with the truth. Your Fati was disappointed her daughter didn't marry an Indian. And now her beloved granddaughter, despite her best efforts, is marrying someone even further from home. She's shifted her hopes onto you, the remaining grandchild. Oh, good. Maybe a little too much truth there, Auntie Chandra. Ugh. 
Thank God Bati is 8,000 miles away. That should give me some breathing space. Uh, Jala, you know Arani's getting married in a month, right? Oh yes. Oh my God. Yes, my dear. Bati's coming. Here. To Timber Hills. She'll be here at the end of the month. Sorry, sweetie. How about I clean up that skateboard of yours? Maybe it'll make you feel better. Hmm? Yeah, sure. Oh, I don't have enough. Well, I do. Blue lightning. A board that looks lightning fast. Purple magenta. Yay, purple magenta. I'm just gonna buy shit I don't need. Indeed. Oh, you bought something to change up your look. You'll need to open up the gear menu to equip new shoes, jackets, and boards. Okay. Uh, gear. Ooh, cool. All right. Answer phone. Jella, I have a great idea. A brainwave. Can you come home now? Sh yeah, sure. What kind of idea exactly, Dad? Nothing bad. My suspicious little milkshake. Ah, uh, fine. You are so whipped. I'll see you at home, Paddy Dua, and bring your appetite. Okay. Talk to Dad. Leave. Presents. These are gonna be fun. Yay, another dude bro. I'm so excited. Oh, it's the same dude bro. Okay. My mother will only slightly despise you. on your shirt I think I'm dizzy <laughs> oh now you so you like me you like me a whole lot you're not what I expected I get that a lot all right cool got some money Ooh, level up my attack rank. Got a charm slot. Earn some new skills. Okay, what do I want to put this into? Let's take a look. I'm gonna go here. I got a new thing, so let's use my new move. Oh! Oh, did I win? Yeah, yeah. That's what they all say. I did. I won. Yay, me. All right. Here you go talk to my Faja. Talk to Dad. I got a new recipe. Hey, Daddy. Oh, how's it going? Jala, I had a little thought. Uh, just a suggestion. Uh-oh. Dad's come up with one of his ideas. Why don't you ask your mother for a cooking lesson? I'm a terrible student. I hate following instructions. I'm an improviser. I thrive on the unexpected. So what you're saying is... It's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> uh, Dad, you know how I feel about puns. I can't help myself when you give me such a delicious opportunity. Oh, I love this, Dad. Stop, I'm begging you. It would mean a lot to your mother. If you asked. All right, thanks. I have missed being in a well-stocked kitchen. We didn't really have the space at. No, we are not talking about Jennifer with our dad. Why not? He'll make that concerned face, and we will die of guilt. Just give in. Fine. Okay, but you're responsible for the consequences. Just promise me you'll put down the knives if you start arguing. <laughs> if. <laughs> Kitchen. All right. Flaky buttery flatbread that goes with everything. Oh, so we can equip so, these. Mom, 
I had an idea. Could you teach me how to cook something? Well, since you're so eager, I guess I can't say no. Is our dad secretly an evil genius mm. of emotional manipulation? Behind that benevolent facade, he's really got you and mom worked out. Hmm. How about today we start with butatas? Go wash your hands before we begin. I just washed them, huh? No, it's you did water, not. Not hydrochloric acid. Your hands won't burn off if you wash them again. But are you here to learn to make parathas or argue with your mother? Yes, mom. Shala Jayaratna takes the high road. It's probably also a cold day in hell and somewhere <laughs> in the world a pig just got its wings. And don't forget to scrub your nails. If you follow the recipe well, you'll get heat. Use heat to supercook and try your luck at complimenting mom to gain approval. Whisk the flour and salt together. Oh, I love whisking. It's like cooking, Mama very now. Powerful. Please try not to cover the entire kitchen in flour this time. But I want to. I was five years old, mom. Isn't it time to let that incident go? Good luck. Indian mothers hoard embarrassing childhood stories like <laughs> dragons hoard treasure. So do Hispanic moms. Just whisk, Jala. Carefully. Okay. Stir. Eee! Not bad. Is that good enough for you? Mom. I have to ask. Hmm? Hmm. Aren't you mad at me? I expected a lot more yelling when I came home. Well, I've been told the shouting and screaming didn't work so well last time. <laughs> so I'm trying something new. Good for you? Yeah, passive aggression. I mean, yes, but still, good for you. More like aggression aggression. What was that? Uh, nothing, ma. Now, press the vegetable oil into the flour. Once the oil is incorporated, start adding water a little at a time. There's nothing like mixing with your hands. Really get in there. Okay. Your dad would say you did well. But mm. I'm not your dad. <laughs> now you roll the dough into balls and leave it aside to rest for an hour. So I guess we just hang out together, avoiding a bunch of sensitive subjects for an hour? Absolutely not. I set aside some dough earlier. We just need to roll it out and fry it. Cool. Sorry, I zoned out there for a second. Even Fati would approve. Yay! What am I saying? Maybe I should lie down. Oh, that looks yummy. Oh. Oh, does it unlock memories or something? So, how did I do, Amma? Oh, Jala, it tastes... It tastes... Decent. <laughs> but not the best. Guess I've always had it in me. Or I'm just a very good teacher. Oh my god! When did it become so late? I have to go to bed. I have to be up early tomorrow. It's the teachers' union meeting, and I promised everyone I'd make kiribat. Hmm. Just buy some snacks from the store. Jala, please. How could I show my face if I came <laughs> with store-bought snacks? Good night, Jala. Don't stay up too late, huh? I wasn't going to ask her to leave the meeting because... Achievements! Cooking lesson! Now I'm level 5. Cook with mom. Okay. So if I go in here... Achievement! Good cook! Look in the fridge. Needs a boost. Oh my god. I'm getting achievements. Dang, empty. We'll have to wait till tomorrow. I don't need to wash my hands. I don't think I need to inspect anything in here. 
So what do I do with my life? Someone tell me. Oh, I go talk to my daddy. Hey, dad. No luck <laughs> Just like your sister flips today, everywhere. No, but I did get ambushed by this weird guy. I think Bhakti sent him. What? Are you sure? Oh, your grandmother's not going to be here till the end of the month. She wants to marry me off, and she's sending suitors to Timber Hills. It's all part of her plan. Uh, your grandma loves to meddle. <laughs> are you sure he wasn't just a weird guy? I'm not being paranoid, Dad. She really is out to get me. Okay, sweetie. <laughs> what are you watching? Oh, some of your old basketball games. I oh my god. This one's from junior high. You made that great free throw. See? Oh, that's cute. Oh, I love him. Chapter two, all adults self smell faintly of pop. Jala's search for her auntie Aruni was a bust. Cooking sessions with mom are elaborate emotional traps. Hati is sending creepy suitors to ambush her all over town. Thank God Auntie C is still on her side. Well, we're gonna go ahead and I'll leave this one here for now. This game is so unbelievably amazing. I'm I'm having so much fun. The art style is really good. The music is really good. I love the combat element. I cannot wait to see where we go. If you're not subscribed already, you're missing out. We put out new videos every Wednesday and every Sunday usually. So hit that button, get your noisy face on, and I will see you next time.